Good afternoon, everybody. Please pardon the noise. It's a gorgeous day down in North Carolina, and we've got lots of yard work to do. <clears throat> so I'm coming to you because I'm doing yard work today, and I was just ripping some stuff out, and it made me think of this, so I thought I would just stick it up here. I'm going to take a second to kind of show you with. So this is this back hill of my yard, which right now looks frightful <laughs> from coming out of autumn and here's the point I want to make and I want to make it specific to politics right now and of course always specific to your own life journey so as I come in here today to do some work it's very um, seductive right to be like oh let me just go in and just rip it all out because it doesn't look great but What's the, the downside to being so reactive? Well, the downside is that I'm going to pull things out that are going to be stunningly beautiful in the spring or next summer or next autumn. So you have to be super, super discerning about what you're doing when you're dealing with plants and gardening. And it takes a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of um, knowledge that's gained over time and research and all that kind of stuff to get to the space where you're a, a more um, kind of established gardener and you know what things to just leave alone don't touch it make let it look messy for a while and then other things you're like no I need to get it out now because it could create disease in the spring and this is kind of where we're sitting right now the energies are chaotic the energies are hard and um, heavy and confusing and the point is you can't be reactive right now. So no matter where you stand politically in the US or anywhere else, you know, there's just a lot moving. There's a lot of confusion. There are a lot of people out there who aren't feeling very settled about the way that the US election played out. But this isn't time to jump into a story, any story from the space of like buying into a hook, line and sinker. This is not that time. And the work is always the same to be here to hold that single point of focus in your heart that's why we're here that is the only reason we're here and if you came here in service like all of those those of you who would see this video have that is the only thing that you have to remember in every moment is you are here to be a light bearer and you can't be a light bearer unless you are centered in your heart so all the stories and all of the emotion it brings forward have to be seen through and you have to move out of those and back to your core, back to your center and just be here, you know, do what you can in your communities to build community, do what you can in your family to support your family structure, to be there as that, you know, beacon of light for those who are just wallowing in so much negative emotion. Help them. That's why we're here. Do everything you can to help them. All right. I love you all. Have a wonderful weekend.